Hello my dear Aquarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between February the 1st to February 15, 2017 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, so if you want to support my channel and my free general readings, you can click the ad in the beginning of my video or watch it for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. Thank you. I'm very grateful for your support and for all of you watching, liking, commenting and subscribing to my videos. Uh, you make me feel really warm inside. So uh, I use the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan, uh, Dugan with the artist Mark Evans. So I'll start shuffling your cards and I call the Divine with Love and Light. And I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And I call the six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Aquarius viewers. Uh, so I want my dear Aquarius uh, to have love in their lives and uh, to find themselves in loving relationships. And I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk uh, on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, so we have a little seven of swords uh, popping out here. So seven of swords is about not being really truthful, uh, but actually trying to skip over some important lesson by using a survival skill or avoiding a conversation maybe. Uh, so I want to take the chance also to tell you about the full moon, February 11, the full snow moon or the full hunger moon for those living in the northern hemisphere. Uh, this moon will also have a penumbral lunar eclipse uh, when the moon passes through part of the Earth's shadow as at um, uh, 0043 uh, universal time. So, okay. I will just tune in for a few seconds. So Aquarius, this is your future, uh, this is your now, and this is the past. The now is probably uh, the first half of uh, January 2017, but whenever you watch this, it's probably the exact right time to see it. So uh, the first card for you is uh, Ten of Wands. Uh, so Ten of Wands is um, um, it's a fire energy card. Uh, it's about messages, it's about uh, longing, it's about the uh, spiritual energy, it's about your energy level. Uh, so um, here is like uh, the first uh, that hits me, it's like it's kind of a message um, that's being delivered, but it's also like a person moving or escaping or moving into better location maybe. Uh, it has also to, to do with uh, uh, suppression. Uh, instead of talking, uh, instead of telling people how you feel, uh, you just leave the situation. You just, uh, they just see your backside and you're leaving with all your stuff and you're like waving bye bye and they only see the, the backside of you here. It's a beautiful backside with some kind of tribe pattern here on, on this beautiful cape. So uh, it's red. Uh, so it's probably has something to do with your root chakra needs, your basic kind of needs, uh, a need of a hug, maybe a need of uh, uh, financial security, a need of a home, a need of a stable environment, a need of being feeling understood, things like this, uh, having food, water, shelter, love. Mm. Uh, so uh, the first card is Ten of Wands, and the next is kind of the same thing, but it's the Eight of Cups. So we see the backside in both of those cards. So it's a person that has left the situation, both because they didn't um, really want to talk about what's happening with them, and also because they feel really betrayed in some way or like letting down in the love relationship, feeling very disappointed, probably maybe sucked dry of a situation because those two cards together can sometimes indicate exhaustion, being exhaust, or exhausted, feeling like you have filled people and situations with energy, like filling them, filling them, filling them. And they were just like empty barrels all the time. It didn't matter how much you gave them. They were never able to return the favor or you didn't get the thing out of this situation that you hoped for. So we see the dolphin here uh, and it's uh, kind of telling her to, well, maybe wait a little bit. 
don't be so hasty. Maybe there's things still there, like with love wise. Uh, but she's very determined. She has flowers in her he hair, so she hasn't given up on herself. It's just that she's given up on this, whatever thing it was. And she's um, facing towards the stars and the moon. So she's kind of trying to go inwardly and feel, okay, uh, now I'm in this middle ground, this middle situation, and I don't know in which direction I should supposed to go. Um, should I go back? Should I go forward, left, uh, right, whatever? Uh, so this could be a beautiful situation where you kind of uh, put yourself like in a little distance to other people and stay in yourself really focused and think maybe about your alternatives and uh, alternatives and and try to feel uh, if one alternative is kind of giving you you know the heart is racing and you get a little stomach ache that might indicate that you are, are either it's a thing that you really really want and you are getting nervous to not get it uh, or it might indicate that it's not the right way to go if you feel really calm uh, I would try to face more towards that direction those decisions that makes you feel calm inside uh, because um, if you get really stressed from a situation that you really, really want, it kind of indicates that you really, really want it. But does it really want you? Uh, because why would you get nervous if it wanted you, if you were sure? Uh, so I would take this as a thermometer. Uh, how you feel inside when you're thinking of the dif different situations? Thinking of going back, getting heart grace, maybe not a good a good thing to do if you feel really calm. Well, maybe contact that situation again and see uh, if it's a person or like something else that you have uh, left behind. Maybe you want to go back. You feel it inside. But with both those um, backsides being turned, it seems like you are uh, turning uh, your back against one situation because you want to face another. Um, this is another 10. You had a 10 of wands. This is 10 of cups. You also had the 8 of cups. Uh, so this is probably... Uh, where you want to go instead this is what you wanted to have but didn't get uh, so that's why we saw you leaving because this is your future perspective uh, you want to have like an abundance of money an abundance of love all your needs met mm -hmm. that's usually all what a person wants to uh, feel like happy with their lives having their needs met and um, feeling stimulated this is also creativity it can be like a a uh, work, um, maybe a crea creative uh, thing that you are doing that's really fulfilling you and maybe probably is your highest destiny, like your highest road to towards your highest destiny, that's something that you are supposed to do, something that you are longing for to do. Uh, so um, some creative skill, but also love, of course. Uh, it's probably many of you wants to have this fulfilled love relationship instead of waiting for someone that's uh, uh, don't want to fulfill your needs, don't want to um, connect, things like this. So maybe you're leaving for a better situation. Uh, and here you have the karma card, that's judgment day. And it's kind of um, being an adult person, being able to make a judgment call. And here you have, it's the sun. The sun is your, um, your um, what can I say, your consciousness, uh, being able to see things, being able to see, see your... Um, feelings maybe in your body uh, feel the feelings see the feelings hear uh, your thoughts or see your thoughts that depends on how your um, mind process works um, and here we have the moon blocking this um, this clear view so the moon is your subconscious your instincts uh, so for me in this situation it kind of shows that you need to put together uh, your clear vision your sun your soul with your subconscious with the moon and the instincts so uh, look at the feelings they are going to show you where to go and you will be able to make this grown-up judgment call uh, to put yourself on your highest destiny instead of dragging yourself uh, backwards in a situation that's kind of not see it seems like it's um, uh, drying you out in some way uh, and here's the knight of wands that's Sagittarius energy so it seems like whatever comes out of this you will become a more happy person uh, because you will be able uh, to turn towards that that actually feels nice you don't have to stay any longer in a abusive situation or a situation draining you because you think that you need to make that money or you need to be at that job because 
uh, it's the most sane thing to do uh, and you can't like follow your dreams but you can this knight of wands uh, energy card it's kind of showing follow your dreams following um uh, not your senses so much but actually your longing because your longing is your soul's longing it's like life's longing for itself it wants to be fulfilled so use this uh, map or this compass to take you where you are supposed to go it's a white horse so feeling that you know uh, feeling that you have seen here in the judgment card okay so uh, the next line of cards is the now and here we have a nine of pentacles uh, so nine of pentacles is indicating a situation where you feel very self-sufficient like uh, to help with other people i will be able to make this on my own uh, so uh, sometimes it's like that when you can't uh, you're loving someone or you're trying to participate in a situation and nothing works uh, you might decide eventually to to uh, pick up your things and and walk on uh, like really self-sufficient into your own uh, destiny uh, so it's a nine of pentacles so it's like a very fulfilled situation mat in a way of um, like material wealth uh, but it's uh, also very a little bit lonely card uh, this girl is pregnant and she might not have gotten this way on on her own but it's kind of showing that you are pregnant with something new a new situation probably uh, the knight of wands energy like you want to do something adventurous with your life uh, fulfill it um, birth forward new ideas or new prosperous things for you uh, fulfilling your life with all these beautiful things that you want to experience and and um and also have maybe uh, this is a she is having a beautiful garden it's like her inner garden uh, so it might be a time where you are kind of putting more attention towards you and your inside and your um, maybe your personal growth and things like this uh, instead of relationships so much or what you can give it's more like uh, what's in it for me that kind of feeling what I want to create and here's the four of pentacles so it seems like you will keep some other person like on an arm's length and also your heart chakra here seems to be rather closed and it's like you are being a door bouncer no one is getting into your tower here since you have been living uh, so it's showing a very uh, like a person being very strong being very self-sufficient um, um probably um not feeling um like so warm and fussy right now but actually more like cold and distant it's the feeling and yes here really central we have the death card uh, so something is uh, going to die something is going to be uh, like exchanged for something new it's when an old habit goes an old way of being an old way of doing things uh, an old way of um, like being in relationships and different situation when that it's it's gone you don't do that anymore then uh, there's a room to be filled with something new so this is like an exchange it's like opening a uh, two doors and it will be this draft between those doors with you know a fresh breeze something that will really really stir around uh, the uh, the the air in a room for example uh, so we see this little boy here holding up flowers to death uh, so that's kind of how we want you to be in this situation um actually giving yourself up to what's making you really terrified what's uh, uh what you have been uh, maybe trying to avoid uh, with uh, uh here we can see that you have tried to kind of behave together with other people take on a big workload maybe trying to manipulate your feelings so you wouldn't feel what you felt and, and now you're just deciding no i want this what i want and i'm not going to you know sacrifice this i'm going to sacrifice my fear instead i'm going to sacrifice my um, my will of uh, maybe compromising over extensively things like this uh, so uh, the next card is the tower and it comes underneath the karma card so it's something like with your old survival skills with how you have protected yourself uh, before how uh, um what you have built been building for a long time will probably you know crumble down to pieces here and it might feel like really scary because you have both the karma card the death card and the tower card here 
So that's 13, 16, and 20. And, and those cards are not simple. They are kind of wants to, you know, redecorate your whole life. Um, uh, wants to suck things out, like um, really making a vacuum and then fill it with new stuff. So we'll see if there will come some new stuff. No, <laughs> it's not. It's the moon. It's actually the moon that's in the face of the sun here. Uh, so you're going to lose a lot of stuff, maybe because we need to figure this out because maybe uh, this is how you handle uh, situations when they are getting too much you are not talking you are just sacrificing you know love and relationships and things like this uh, because uh, you want to feel superior and uh, you know self-control having control of the situation not need anyone uh, because in usually you shouldn't have this m much like blunt trauma to your head like universe is giving you right now uh, so it's something that you are doing like an old survival skill some old survival me mechanism that's need to go it's need to go uh, you uh, because heaven wants more happiness in your life more fulfillment probably maybe more connection also between people because this is um, uh, this is sometimes like a player kind of person roaming around the world find, trying to find. But what they are trying to find is love. Uh, so they are just not settling for second best. So you want, it seems like you want connection, but you are not able to get this because you are not talking. You are actually just leaving a situation instead of opening up and telling like, OK, this is what I fear. This is what uh, I I see that I fear so much. It's my worst nightmare. Um, and stay and talk and open up to someone. It seems like instead you are choosing to leave and, you know, try to live on your own, make it on your own, being like a human being, being an island. And um, it's uh, very obvious that heaven doesn't want this for you. Uh, so uh, blunt head force trauma. I don't mean that you will hurt your head. I just mean this, uh, like... First, the spirit is trying to whisper to you and tell you with your you know, small signs that, well, maybe you love that person after all. Maybe you should open up to them. Maybe you should tell them what you're fearing. Maybe you should trust them. They have been showing, you know, it can do, be like this. And eventually it will be like, you know, right, like really screaming into your ear um, that things are wrong you're going in the wrong direction so this is like zillion of red flags showing you that you are leaving a situation uh, because e because of ego I would say like some a person wants to keep their ego intact don't want to change uh, don't want to be changed in the situation don't want to open up and talk don't want to show other people that you care about them but actually just leaving the situation and this seemed to create some kind of major drama in your life maybe uh, night so black that you you don't think that you will ever see the light again with all these it's like a big blanket of depression that might be put upon you because it's like the divine wants you to see what's important in life is ego tower important to protect yourself uh, keep yourself separated from other people keep yourself in a superior position or is uh, love and um, like communication and things like this is this more important and of course the divine thinks that uh, love and communication is important because this is how we grow when we put ourselves in this situation we don't have to grow at all we can uh, we don't have to change as um, persons in our whole life we can just put ourselves like well that uh, friend wasn't really nice so I will never meet them again and, and and then you don't have to sort things out with that friend. You don't have to grow in that situation. But now it seems like, well, you have gone too far with this. So heaven wants you to grow either way. So either you do it deliberately or heaven will kind of do it for you. Uh, so we'll see what majority of uh, Aquarius will choose. Uh, so here is the six of pentacles. And that's a beautiful thing. Because that's actually compromise. That's actually, you know, talking to that friend, trying to put some sense into that person and, and telling like, well, if we can do it like this, would you maybe be satisfied with that? Could you work along with me then? Uh, so you might think that people are a bit like stupid and like they can't see their own good. So it's better to separate yourself from them than to be with them. But now it's time for you to participate with or original humans like ordinary people. And and, um, and try to be the bigger person. 
uh, try to share equally, try to help them instead of like um, hate them and leave them. Uh, so the next card is Four of Cups. So it's kind of going with the same series that we have seen before that, okay, we can maybe be friends, but you will never, ever, ever love them again uh, because they were so, so stupid towards you. Uh, so here's uh, a four of pentacles protecting the heart chakra. Here's the four of cups protecting the heart chakra. And this is a person leaving. And here's the divine like kind of sighing and saying, well, <laughs> don't you think that maybe you love them still anyway? No, uh, you don't want to. But it's a lot of water flowing here and it's a beautiful luscious tree. So there's a lot of hope with this. I, I think you you might long for a person that you are trying to think that you don't need them anymore. But mm, but it seems like your heart is actually needing them. But because why other do you do you have to protect your uh, heart chakra re region like this? And it's also like the divine is, is rather convinced of of that love or reaching out to another human being or taking offer that has been granted to you could be like a good thing to do. Uh, so we have major trust issues here, like you trust only yourself, no one else. Um, and here's the star card. So the divine is not here to kind of uh, destroy your life. They want to heal you. And this is your water being mixed with other people's water in the in the river of time. Uh, so you are not supposed to go on this journey alone. You are not supposed to be like a, a lonesome sailboat out on the sea of universe. You are supposed to be together with other people like the big stars with the small stars here. Um, and the Ibis is also a symbol for, for, for love and, and uh, empathy and open hearted feelings. So when death comes, it wants to heal your uh, ability to have loving relationship and, and to have um, also this creative success and also your highest destiny, of course. Uh, so what's happening now is, is actually a help for you to be able to... <sighs> You have put yourself like in this position, maybe for a long time, like being very self-sufficient and being able to take care of yourself, separate you from other people, separate you from your own emotions, making you uh, superior and unreachable and things like this. But uh, <clears throat> uh, they don't want you to have this structure left, uh, it seems. So here's a little page of pentacles. So uh, page of pentacles here is like being pure and honest. Uh, figuring out what you really want. Uh, if we take away all your pride and all your survival skills and all of this thing, what do you really want? If you look at your heart like with purity and honesty. Um, so uh, this is pure earth. So it's kind of a real beautiful potential to build something new in your life, something that's come from a, a real core value instead of your ego tower. So so something it's like it's like um, if you have seen the movie Tangled, this is like Rapunzel coming out of the tower after spending their whole life there and actually starting to trust other people. But having a frying pan that you can throw in their head if they are being um Nasty. I think this is the maybe the Disney or the DreamWorks, uh, um, a DreamWorks production. I'm I I'm not really sure, but uh, it's like this story anyway. And it's also with this karma. She has a a destiny, and that is what's taking her out of the tower. And she's going out in the world like very pure and honest, and but also very resourceful with a frying pan. Uh, so not um, you are not. Uh, uh, vulnerable just because you step out of your comfort zone. You can still be very strong and decisive with how you want to be treated. Uh, the last card is actually the lovers. So it seems like the love story wants to win in this case. And, and you have left a situation that you probably shouldn't have left. You should have stayed and worked with it. And, and this is what I see for, for you, my dear Aquarius. Uh, so it's a knight of wands, adventures, but, um, the big trick uh, that you are probably trying to avoid is that you need to go through the moon to find love. So, uh, and that's what you are trying to, you don't want to do this because this is your primordial swamp. This is where you got hurt um, from the beginning. And it might be like 
it's very dusty there and, and probably like really ancient waters because I don't think that you have been there for a very, very long time. You have been able to protect yourself in a very beautiful way because you're a smart per person very and very resourceful person. Uh, also very good with relationship, like being the adult person, taking control and saying, well, this is how we should do it. This is the best way. And everyone is convinced that you are right. But really, you are just trying to avoid to feel the pain. Uh, so you are using logic and you are using survival strategies and retreat and flight and things like this uh, to avoid this. Uh, so it's something that you're really, really scared of. Uh, something and probably when you open the door to the moon here, uh, it's it might be that you're going to go into a, a slight depression. But it's just because when you haven't like opened this door for eons, it will be a lot of feelings like a big pile waiting for you that wants to be seen and heard because love is attention and all those feelings here uh, they are coming to you with messages and this is probably here what we are seeing here you are refusing to listen to these messages you are saying no 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 i don't want to listen so ten of wands you are like building up pressure and then you leave instead of listening to yourself uh, all those things that's coming to you and wants to be heard and seen uh, so outside this door between you and the lover situation, uh, there's the moon. Uh, so you will have to go through this and so listen to all your own complaints, all your own heartaches, all your own sorrows, all the things that you have kind of suppressed when you thought like, well, I could live on my own forever because I don't need anyone else. And and this was a lie. And, and the moon is like... Where you need to face the truth, go through all your illusions to actually see what's really there. Um, so energy is eternal. So when you have stopped an energy from coming with this suppression, uh, it's still there outside your door waiting for you. So what you need to do is to open that door and maybe glimpse just a little bit <laughs> first so you can, you know, start to take one or two or five feelings and then like thousands will come and all wants to be seen at once and take the most uncomfortable feeling first and just stay with it and 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 be with it. And you can do different kind of um, exercises with those feelings as, as well, kind of visualizing them and, and talk to them, uh, talking with your sub subconscious. So, but it's not the most important thing. It's just they want to be seen like a little child wants to be comfort when they have um, fallen and scraping their knees. These feelings, they, they are there because it's like you are having you are taking care of a universe that's your body and and your soul has kind of uh, beamed down uh, their uh, life energy in this body and uh, you have like a police force there uh, ambulance doctors um, fire department teachers uh, different things and and here probably uh, maybe the fire department has been telling you of um uh, of old fire that's going on and the police department has been telling you about thieves and the doctors has been telling about you know different diseases that um or illness that you haven't been looking upon because you have you have uh, refused to felt your feelings or your biochemic feedback uh, so all of these um, uh, like different departments in your body you have made them like unemployed and feeling really useless because you haven't been listening to their messages because you have thought that well if um, I'm to be a superior human I need to be super strong not feel my feelings and uh, not feel any pains and aches and uh, not listen to the warning bells in my stomach or anything else so a whole your whole universe is kind of uh, being cut off from God and God being you and your mind, of course. So when your mind go back, it will be a lot of um, energies that wants your attention. So, um, but it's no big thing, actually. It's you will have to sacrifice a few months or <laughs> sometimes a year. I'm sorry for laughing, but um, uh, it it's um, it's like not <laughs> not a nice thing to do this but in the end it will be so prosperous because you will have uh, gotten to know yourself and and your actual spiritual being uh, you will know who you are and and you won't be like this little tiny human being an island you know out in a lonesome sea anymore you will have gotten connection with yourself and and with your core and with your everything like being reconnected with the universe and also with your uh, with the moon is actually reconnecting with with the divine so um 
it's just a time of uh, calibration, you can say, where, where you need to go through this, uh, these feelings. And it seems like um, uh, love will prevail here and, and soul contracts and, and, and contact between people. And, and, and when you find yourself, you will find love here. Uh, so very beautiful. Okay. I will take some cards for you from the wisdom of the hidden realms uh, to see what's uh, advice for Aquarius. Oh, four cards. Well, yes. Uh, so we have the Shadow Queen, acquiring knowledge, uh, insecurity, manipulation. So this is when you're going through the moon. It's going to you are you are not going to feel like a superior person anymore. That's for sure. But you are going to uh, learn everything about yourself. So this is a big adventure. You don't have to fear it so much it's actually going to heal you it's very beautiful so you see this is the kind of the same card but she's going like on an old train track so it's kind of rediscovering your your um, highest destiny because train tracks for me is um, destiny destined locations so we have the wind wise one here uh, so it's the angel in this card um, kind of showing that they are there for you and they are going to give you a lot of help and miraculous aid. Uh, so very supportive and they are going to give you signs as well that you are being a good girl or boy and, and, and that they, you are being guided in the right direction and you can feel really safe. So you don't have to be so agitated when you're here in the darkness uh, messing about. And we also have the uh, dragon's duel. Uh, so it's an inner conflict going on uh, between you, your ego probably, uh, and your more highly, highly developed divine kind of... It's like, which wolf do you want to feed? Which dragon do you want to feed? Like the dragon that's being like self-sufficient and superior and not needing people, or the dragon that actually could connect and, and make a difference in this world. Um so the one that you feed is the one that's going to win. So it's, uh, it's you have free will, uh, but the divine is going to see to that this battle is not going to be like easy for you uh, to win in your old safe ways. You are going to need to have to either develop new skills beside this um, uh, kind of shutting down. Uh, you are going to have to do it in some other way because the moon is really present here. And you have the moon in, in both the karma card and the moon card in here. So you're not going to be able to avoid your feelings. Either you try to shut them down or not. And here's the river queen. So when you finally can be able to flow and let go and have natural movement, you will be able to take yourself to, to this uh, place where you were supposed to go. And, um, um, and for having this flowing movement, the ego tower needs to go. You need to be able to to kind of um, decide that the things that you need is actually things that's not there to control you. They are there to guide you. Okay. So you don't have needs to, to kind of avoid them and to be like, um, just trying to be a monk, like living without anything. Uh, this is not going to guide you towards your highest destiny. It's just going to guide you straight back to the ego tower where you think that you are a superior human. And when you go out from that tower and open up for your needs, you are going to be guided towards uh, where you are supposed to go. Uh, like this plant, uh, it's like a plant, it's like a seed. It needs special nourishment to grow towards the sun, and you do too. So your needs are important to make you be able to blossom in this life. Okay, a lot of cards for you. Um, I will take also a couple of cards, I hope, from the past life <laughs> oracle cards. Oh, okay. It's kind of the same I got for Pisces today. So it's something with the weather, I guess. Um, Pisces got angels and um, an orphan. And you get angels and unrequited love. Uh, so it's kind of showing this... Um, how hard it has been for you to to go down in a human body from being in another dimension, being this uh, uh, superior uh, angelic creature and then going down in a little, little body, being a, a little person with all these loving feelings and, and not getting it back. So, of course, you develop those uh, survival skills, putting yourself in the tower, feeling really safe. 
um, guarded from other humans so they wouldn't be there to hurt you. But now the rules has changed and, and uh, the world is changing. So you're not supposed to stay in that tower anymore. You're actually going, uh, you're supposed to go out and connect with other people and take back your voice, start to telling people what you really feel, how you really think and what you want and, you know, start to taking the battles of your life instead of avoiding them and retreating into your comfort zone. Okay, my dear Aquarius, I hope this helped and I'm so grateful for you watching this far and I hope uh, you will be able to join me uh, when I come back with a reading for you in the middle of February. Uh, okay, take really good care. Bye-bye.